So let's take a look at an example. We have a lorry of mass 5 tonnes is travelling along a straight horizontal road. It experiences resistance forces of 800 newtons. Calculate the acceleration of the lorry when the power developed by the lorry's engine is 20 kilowatts and its speed is 12.5 meters per second. So the first thing that we should do is draw a diagram. Here is my lorry. And it will have a weight of, um, what have we got, 5 tonnes times g, so that's 5 thousand kilos times the acceleration due to gravity. Because it's in contact with the surface, there'll be a normal reaction force. I don't think we're going to need it in this problem, but I'm just going to add it to my diagram. We've got the driving force from the engine, and I'm going to take that it's travelling to the right. And then we've got the resistance forces of 800 newtons. So that could be friction, air resistance, or combination. So this is the problem that we have, okay? Now, we know that power is equal to the force times the velocity. Now here, the power is coming from the driving force. So that will be D times V. So P, the power, is 20 kilowatts. So that's 20,000. And that's going to be equal to D times the speed, which is 12.5 metres per second, so 12.5. So we can easily calculate D. So 20,000 divided by 12.5 is 1,600. So that's 1,600 newtons. OK, so now I've got enough information to utilise Newton's second law, F equals ma. So resolving forces to the right, we've got D working to the right, and then take away the 800. is going to be equal to the mass times by the acceleration. Now, we've just calculated D. It's 1,600. So we've got 1,600, take away 800, which is 800, equal to 5,000a. So if I now divide both sides by 5,000, so 800 divided by 5,000, and that's equal to 0 0.16, and that will be metres per second per second. 